How are we doing, people? It's another day. I've just got up and had a cup of tea. And I'm going to go make myself a protein shake soon and go on a run. I'm feeling quite good today. My body's not too... So I've got a little bit of pain in my right leg. Again, it's just the running. I think it's just the stress of running things, which is kind of hurting my legs a little bit. But actually, overall, I feel all right, you know? Feeling good in terms of my breathing and my chest and stuff, which is nice. I'm a little bit worried in another way, though, because basically found out through this organization now that we're only doing three training sessions a week and it's one hour each. So it's an hour on a Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, which I'm a little bit concerned isn't enough in terms of making sure that we're fight ready at the end of the eight weeks. Also saw that the guy who runs the gym has posted extra classes, but at a cost. Now, the training's in Glasgow, but I don't live in Glasgow. So for me, it's like traveling in and the thought of doing this and then obviously paying next to the classes makes me a little bit concerned because I don't know if it's going to be possible with my schedule in terms of work and things as well. I'm not sure how everything's going to go at the minute. I'm kind of concerned that if other people are doing the classes who live closer and can afford it, that maybe they're going to be in a better position than me by the time the fight comes around, which is a little bit worrying. Obviously, I'm doing the best I can to make sure I'm ready in terms of my fitness. I'm obviously going out running and keeping my own training quite stable, but I'm just worried in terms of like conditioning making sure like my legs are ready and like sparring and things. I know as well the training is going to be heavily based on Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yes, I'm just a little bit concerned that I'm not going to be ready at the end of this eight weeks in terms of the fight. But you know, I won't know anything until Tuesday. So I'm not going to get myself too down and, you know, too, too concerned with it just yet. I think at the minute it's just go to the train on Tuesday kind of maybe take the first week in stride, kind of see how that feels. And then at, after that week, then kind of base on what's going to, what's going to happen over the next few months, whether or not I'm going to feel ready for it or not. But yeah, so I'm going to get up now. I'm going to go and make myself a protein shake. And I think I'm going to go for a, for a small run. It's also my sister's birthday today. So I'm excited for that. I might get some film of that. Me and my partner have got a card and some gifts and they're all having a takeaway tonight. And I can't have one, which is very sad. But I'm not going to let it get me down. All right, see you in a minute. E Picasso. So, it's the outfit that I'm wearing. So, this is actually a sort of a mess in here. I do apologize because of all the clothes and stuff that we're doing. But this is what I'm doing at the minute in terms of like nutrients and things. So, here we've got bananas, apples. Got vitamins with iron, omega-3, multivitamins, A to Z with minerals. This is the one I'm mostly taking. Got creatine. Got two things of protein powder, just obviously for two different flavors to give it a bit of variety. And I've got my pre-workout here as well, uh, just for the days that I'm not feeling no bit. I try not to take this too much because um, I'm pretty sure I've got ADHD and caffeine doesn't kind of work on me. Caffeine doesn't kind of work on me the way that it, it should. It kind of usually makes me a bit drowsy. Uh, there have been a couple of times where I've took that and my heart's racing. Don't necessarily always get the energy levels with it. But again, I try and take it if, if I feel like I need a little burst. Whether or not it works is, is another thing. <laughs> That's it, time to go on the run. I'll see you out there. What's happening, people? So I'm back at the hill. Sorry for more snotty. I fucking forgot to put my Strava on, didn't I? Before I started running. I've done about 4K again. Now I'm about to go give a big run up the hill. She's, uh, she's at the top. She kind of made to the top, guys. It's funny how with some things, you're excited. I do. Like I do get excited to run and I get excited to do high intensity workouts in the gym and I get excited to you know push myself. There's the views, um, horses, 
but I don't get excited for like that hill sprint because things like that are hard, necessary, but they're hard because when you're doing it basically, you know that if you stop running or you don't make it to the top, no matter what, you have to keep going because you can't just stay on the hill. Whereas if you do hill sprints like a treadmill or something, you can just go off the treadmill with this. Even after you get to the top, like there's a little hill just after it, where it kind of evens out. And that, you know, even walking up that afterwards, it's like, oh, you know, trying to catch your breath and all the rest. But as much as I hate it, I know how necessary it is for the training, you know. Because again, I'm working on multiple systems. My aerobic system might be good, but it's my anaerobic system and vice versa and that. So everything's necessary to make sure you get the right stuff that you need, do you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna run home. See you after. So I'm back from my run. Like, if the run was okay, my leg again, I just, I know this is just gonna be a massive problem for the next few weeks. It's been a problem for me for years. Like every time I get into exercise, I have to run and then I have to kind of switch up the exercise for a bit just because it ends up hurting too much. Oh, my first parcel has arrived for the fighting. So I'm gonna open it up and uh, have a look. I don't know what it is. Obviously it's something to do with the MMA, but. Okay. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. So I've got my shin guards and my mouthpiece. There you go, there's the first few bits. These are gonna be good, man, because I'm trying to train my legs without the guards, but I know that when I get to the training and people are kicking and stuff, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite intense. So I'm glad that I finally got these for the beginning. And then I've got my mouth guard as well. Make sure I don't get my pearly whites knocked out. I'm gonna go make a little bit of lunch, I think. Yeah, it's good. I like that. Let's go. Fucking want. Fucking want some shit. Here it is. So, gotta run some hot water. This is just to set the mold so that it, you know, fits my teeth. I'm setting my gum shield. And like magic, I've now got my gum shield. I've fit it and moulded it, but it's making me want to gag a little bit, so I'm going to redo it. I'm a fucking intimidating now. Am I fucking intimidating now? You fucking what, mate? Yeah, fucking what to help, mate? Ooh, these are my new gloves. Pretty cool. Some nice padding. Quite excited for these. I've got the extra padding that, you know, because they're, they're sparring gloves. We'll see how these go. I'm quite excited to get them used. What's happening, people? So, just finished work at my new job. Just ran home as well, about 4K, and I got my gum shield yesterday, got my shin guards, got my gloves, and now I've got another package. Now, I'm not sure what this is. I think it might be my shorts for the training tomorrow, but we'll find out. Let's have a look. Groin guard, that's good. Selfie stick so my videos can be less shite when I'm talking to you. I'm always high shorts. Get in. That's good, I'm sick. I'll try these on and see what, uh, maybe not add to the groin guard and that. <laughs> I'll just, I might try and stick these on. Uh, let you have a wee look. That's good though, man, I'm really happy. I'm really happy about this as well. Hopefully that will uh, make things a lot better. Um, just an update as well in terms of the training. Things are going good. On the box. I do worry that my leg, it might just be to do with the kicking. Because obviously I'm doing kicks on the bag and I think I might be straining my leg at both ends. So I'm straining it on the shin bone and I'm st uh, straining the muscle around it. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on the calves because I have gone, <clears throat> I've, I did exercise anyway, but I've, the intensity that I've upped to is high, a lot higher than normal. So obviously Christmas and my birthday and everything, I really just let go of myself, you know what I mean? So that's kind of where I'm sitting at the minute. It was my sister's birthday yesterday, so 
<clears throat> I haven't had any cake or anything, but we did get a Chinese and I didn't have a big part of it, but I just had a wee portion of it just because my sister was breaking her Lent. We're all doing some stuff for Lent. She was breaking her Lent. It wasn't really my Lent, but I thought I'll break my diet, basically, just to kind of join in. But yeah, I'll try this on, and if I don't look like too much of a prick, I'll show you. So I've tried on all my gear, and it looks pretty good. I'm not going to show it, though, because I do like a bit of a dick, and I'm not willing to do that yet. However, I have got my first training session tomorrow night, so you'll see the gear then. Uh, I'm using my new stick at the minute. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you obviously enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.